Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, or so it appears, are now no longer looking to have their daughter christened here in the United Kingdom. But what is the reason behind that particular headline? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Hope you're keeping well. Welcome on and all those new subscribers. Keep on rising, you're truly welcome. Get involved, let me know what you think of the channel. Love all your comments, as I often say, some cracking comments. Some, of course, are too fruity to mention. We like debate on this show, as long as it's clean and sensible, we thoroughly enjoy it, honestly. And I love the fact that many of you interact with each other when you live in certain states very close to each other. I think that's really nice, making friends. That's what it's all about. Back as ever though to the breaking royal story which we told you about a few months ago now. Now what's interesting I kind of find with this particular sort of story is as ever it comes from a royal source so there's no full confirmation. What we did tell you though way back when in the summer was that Prince William has told a very good source that there was simply no appetite for that particular spectacle. Now it does seem rather sad given how close the brothers were but as I've often said also Prince William does appear to be making more of the monarchy changes, the challenges moving forward and after all let's be honest in uh, quite a few years time this will become his kingdom. Strange to say that word isn't it in the 21st century but that is going to be true. Now as for Harry and Meghan they basically are still undecided as to what they wish to do. What I do find odd, and I do find this very strange, is that the public have yet to see any updated of, of course, the lovely baby Archie, or indeed a picture, firstly, of Lily Diana, or Lily Bet Diana, depending on which version you want to go with. It does seem strange if you are so happy, and of course you're quite happy to exploit yourself to the media for other things, that, as you know within the royals, they basically have to share personal items. Now we all know they're not royal, I get all of that, but on the other hand, by having a public christening at St George's Chapel in Windsor, surely doesn't that make that public property? All real confusing lines coming out of Harry and Meghan as ever, but for now what we do know is there's definitely going to be no christening here in the United Kingdom. Now whether Prince William changes his mind and relents and maybe gets on a little bit better with his brother, hmm, that remains to be seen. But given the fact that Prince Harry and Meghan have declined an offer to attend the Diana ceremony next week uh, to thank all the people that have been involved, of course, in the charity and, of course, that sculpture, which is currently at Kensington Palace, well, it doesn't seem that there's going to be a hand of friendship offered any time soon. Could the other reason, though, be this? What a lot of senior royals are concerned about is the fact that if Prince Harry and Meghan were to return for a christening, would this then make another chapter in, of course, that forthcoming tell-all memoir? And it would make perfect sense if you think about it, because this would give them a story, good or bad, how well they were treated, if they were treated well at all, or how did, in fact, the day go. The other side of the coin is that senior members of the British royal family over here in the United Kingdom don't want to be part of that book. And as we told you on the show a while back, Prince Harry was given the opportunity to curtail publishing the book. But as we so far know, we have to always say on the show, allegedly, he's turned down that opportunity. So why on earth would the royal family over here in the United Kingdom want to leave themselves wide open to scrutiny being, of course, then featured in a book that they're unhappy about. It doesn't make sense at all. So perhaps that's the true reason as to why Prince Harry and Meghan have decided against returning. There simply would be no story. But knowing, of course, the way the media works and, of course, the publicity machine surrounding Harry and Meghan, they could spin this into a story anyway. And perhaps this chapter could be called The Uninvited. Neil Sean in the heart of London.